thought out answer. You weren't ready for that, were you? I mean, I was watching Knight Return to Mid, so <laughs> I was really excited to see that go <laughs> the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> Just immediately. Yeah. Oh no, Maximilian Brooker in the top lane, getting low. Run quick for It's going to be okay. Scary times. Okay, people thought he didn't make it to TI, but uh, here he is in bare form. Yeah, I hope he's getting a percent of that TI cut, to be fair. If he's... Oh, bottom lane, brawling taking place, and it will be Toronto Tokyo going down first. Illich getting very low at the same time as well, but again, once they've used their nukes, they just don't seem to have anything left in the tank. Yeah. Damage is Bet Boom's uh, biggest opponent right now, and of course, Illich. Plus Knight, the, the Brewmaster in Mono is such a potent lane. The top lane, even farming the same camp. How adorable. Uh, the joy of the Twin Gates, right? Just... I'm not go. punished for going to the map. They can take this one. Let's see, Swap comes out immediately into the silence. Great combo there. They need to get this Brewmaster's ult off. He's stunned up. He's being brought down. He can't do it. No primal split means no fight for the side of Thunder. And now they're going to lose more. Sladam's going to fall as well. They'll go over towards MJZ. Nightfall even hunting for the plus one on tonight as MJZ very slowly getting taken down by the right clicks of Pure of Toronto, Tokyo. And it'll take some time, but he will eventually fall. Stun is there from Toronto, Tokyo. And that is the issue. That is the Night Stalker factor, the crippling sphere silencing up the brew. What a great combination. He has the man to complete. He is level 12. Like he is doing a very good job, of course, stabilizing his own game. The thing with Medusa and kind of the current state is always when you leave the jungle, yeah. what's that item after Manta? Uh -oh. He pokes in the bottom. Showing on a wave without his team behind him, out of mana, but does manage to get the ultimate off. That is the saving grace for Knight right here, and Toronto Tokyo might be taking a fall here. Illich will be able to bring him down again. No primal split coming out just yet, because Bad Boomer just gone. Like, <laughs> the moment that ultimate comes out from the Medusa, they had a very clear communication here to say, if that ult comes off, we are out skis. But uh, Sladen, he's been caught just walking up to the twin gate, and he's going to get brought down here. Didn't expect the entire team to just be rocking up through the twin gate, and yeah, just walks into four heroes. Unlucky. Yeah, the speed in which they made that play, right? Maybe a little uh, Thunder favored, perhaps, but uh, unfortunately, the Storm Spirit is in the game, and that causes some issues. But you know, Thunder Awakens fans, you can try that one for yourselves. Oh, pure in the bot lane. Let's see, Illich, is he going to finally pop a Primal Split? Yes, he is. It's split time, baby. Going to look to bring down Toronto, Tokyo. Taking a bit of time as the rest of the team trying to bring down Pure at the same time. But GPK just finds Knight on the sidelines. Now Jump's jumping in for more. Sladam will fall also. GPK just taking anybody he wants right now. MJZ going to be the next target. Medusa thought about coming to this one, but then changed her mind. Getting out at three heroes from Thunder. Just get absolutely dropped. Beastmaster just pieces out on the other side. Don't have the damage. So make the, make the first series take like three hours and all of a sudden everything's out of whack. Good job. Meanwhile, Knight is getting caught out a little bit here. The silence is down. I mean, managed to get up the stone gaze, but they've played it beautifully. They come back in. Medusa, she's trying to stand the ground. She's trying to fight up into this right now, but I'm not sure she's going to be able to. The mana is back, but the health is now going. Medusa, stay up a little bit longer, longer than I expected. It's finally full. They're just too tanky on the side of Bet Boom. The entire team is just not here on the side of Thunder either, so they are just going to be able to rip through them regardless. And Messi, we need to look at, and that kind of comes in with Pure. Yeah, he is the key component to ending this game. He has the MKB, Harpoon Defusal. He can rip through towers. He has plenty of attack speed, especially with the overcharge and the IO. Like, buildings will fall if he has the time to get them. Elich, seen by Nightfall in the bot lane. Yeah, I think he might be a goner. Even tried to go for the split there, didn't happen. So he's just going to get brought down, especially with the relocation coming in. Refresh on the silence just to make sure there's absolutely no chance of him getting out of this one. And there goes a panda. <laughs> oh, poor Enchantress. Jesus. No. Run. The boys are here. <laughs> Nightfall running over the tree line. Oh, boy. It's a slow death, but a death nonetheless. Getting punched in the back of the head by Nightfall. Scardy complete on Medusa. Like, ooh. Yeah. This is such a, it's a, it just feels like the classic mode game where Thunder Awakened is, you know, throwing bodies, farming the, you know, the extremities of the map. And at some point, they're like, you know what? Medusa can do it, right? Hold. 
Oh, he's, he's, oh wait, Oof, he's zero one in three as well. Actually, this is the <laughs> uh, the perfect Medusa the perfect game, carry yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting with the bear right now. I mean, Pure is in the neighborhood as well. GPK coming over. They managed to find the Medusa again here, again. Turning up the fights just when the team's not quite behind you. Knight falls. Sladam goes down as well. Illich tries to get into the middle of this. I mean, they might be able to take down safe, but not even that. The swap is there to try and get the IO to safety. The Brulings will be able to finish him off at the very least. They find something out of this, but it really is scraping the barrels. Knight will fall as well. Nightfall going to be the fall of Knight as MJZ gets himself away. I mean, at least someone survives, I guess, but it will not be Illich as he gets killed off as well. We're just not seeing... You just got to question it, like... Yeah. You, you see the bear. Is that, is that really the target you just want to sit and hit? You know, given given Bet Boom a chance to get over? Like, they don't take a long time to get across this map. He has, he has an MKB on the bear as well. It's not even as if this is like... This with the MKB. I just feel like Thunder Awaken, they missed the beat on that previous engagement with not having the Radiance on the Brewmaster. Again, Medusa getting picked off a little bit, a bit too early before a team could help her out. And again, this is kind of credit to Maybe how Bet Boom are Ooh. No, they're jumping in. They actually want to take the fight regardless. They managed to get the swat out on the Medusa, putting her way out of position, out of mana, out of health. Down she goes again. The Medusa cannot find a way into the game. Killed off, 60 seconds, no Medusa. They think they get something here. They, they don't even want much. They don't want a hero. They, they just want Maximilian Broker. And they don't get him. Stays but is the name of the so bear quickly. to be clear if you missed that one earlier? <laughs> I think I'm going literally insane. It's been a very clean game. GPK especially, jumping in, down goes Knight, looks across, down goes MJC. Yeah, I think this one's over, and they think so as well. GG is called, and game number one, it goes to Bet Boom in a very, very convincing fashion. Incredibly methodical from Bet Boom. The way they set up the lanes, putting the loader in the